<laughs> Hello and happy Wednesday. <laughs> I said I always do this in the middle of the week. I'll go, oh, I haven't vlogged. Get to get the camera. Um, so I'm about to get my nails done. As you can see, we're missing two. And this side, we're missing two. So we're going to go get our, oh my dear Lord, nails done. Um, oh my gosh. I'm sure many people don't want to see this, but how cute do the eras look? All pink. Oh gosh, I really need adult life, hey, when you look at the ears and go, oh, everything's so pink and red. My favourite. But I am feeling inspired to get something pink and red from my laundry on the nails. Hmm, okay. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to get our nails done. Then we've got to get a few bits and bobs as we're off to London tomorrow and I need to get some snacks. Um, I need to get myself a travel toothbrush and a travel toothpaste because I only have one and if I take the toothpaste Josh won't be able to brush his teeth for work. Yikes. So yeah, it's just all those little things I need to do. Um, and then pack. I'm so nervous. Like I am lit. Oh, I've just literally got the worst stomach going right now. Like I can't even keep down a shreddy. It's doing turning tables inside my stomach but hey um but you guys will come along with me and i'm scared i don't know what's gonna happen i don't know what the event is gonna be like all i know is that it is at tiktok and it is for the women of tiktok um and i feel really 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 honored to be invited to be honest because i only started taking tiktok um, as a, as a, as, 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 as a, oh my god, look at me stuttering all by myself when I'm on my own. I don't usually stutter, but damn, that was painful. But I only started taking TikTok seriously just before Christmas, and you know, I mean, like before that, I thought it was for kids and they were dancing on the app and I weren't interested, but. Yeah, I just decided to document my journey and here we are today like so Yeah, I feel really really honored to be invited to something like this I'm just really nervous because I have anxiety as you know social events not usually my thing I want to be the caterpillar in the corner Having a quiet nana nap minding their own business, but I suppose when You are now in this industry <laughs> you need to talk <laughs> and um i'm scared because having to talk in a very busy possibly loud room is a trigger for my stammer and i will stutter a lot so i'm nervous but i've got sam coming with me from the agency and uh, it's, oh, i'm just so grateful because otherwise i'd be like look i'm not going that is just too much for me oh my god this necklace is not making my neck look good i look like a pack of greg sausage rolls down there but all right <laughs> anyway let's get our nails done let's get on with the day and stop chit chatting because we've got things to do and suitcases to pack so let's get on with the day Mwah! so i just made the train just made it i haven't ran since cross country but i ran I made it. We're off to London. I'm so nervous. I got a nervous poo belly and I've never done anything like this on my own. I'm scared. So we are at Costco. I finally got myself a Costco card because I'm self-employed so I feel special but um we want to get a new tv for our dining room so hmm and i've come with a person who wants a big tv and that just gives me a bit of anxiety so we found this one oh it's nice of course he's looking at the biggest TV in all of Costco with a smirk on his face. <laughs> no, 
we're not having this one, sorry. <laughs> I don't care. I know we're not having just saying. It's £2,759. That's a handbag. We're not having that. That's a crime. But whose idea was it to come to Costco with Josh? So we went to London, uh, we got the Vive jumper, we've got the necklaces from Abbott, Abbott Lion, the bag from Boohoo. Let me show you today's outfit. <laughs> Leather leggings, Josh hates them, and a pair of vans. Right, let's go and have a little snoop. Hello, hello. We are currently in Ikea. Come to buy a rug. Josh wants to get this type of rug for the dining room. In an ideal world, this is the rug. I would love one of these. One of these. Yes, this is the rug. For our dining room but we have a dog whose paws catches on everything because she hates having them cut so we need to get something different so we're trying to find adult life oh, never thought I'd spend my Saturday evening touching rugs <laughs> I'm not going to be able to say anything <laughs> um, but we need to find one Oh my gosh, how about a doormat instead? Mm. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't know. This reminds me of my nan's house. Just not the vibe though to our dining room, is it? It's not the vibe. And I worry, I, it's very bold, very bold for a very neutral dining room. Sorry. Oh God, he's apparently found the one. Come on then, what's, what's the rug that you found? <laughs> I found the one. <laughs> Stars and moons, galaxy, huh? No, no. Um, oh my God, I love Ikea, but at the same time, it's the most stressful place on earth. If you come to Ikea and manage to decorate a room with your fiance, you can now officially get married. Because I swear a visit to Ikea to decorate a house has sparked some divorces. I swear there was more rugs. I swear there's more rugs. Um, I'm sorry, when did Ikea do beautiful mirrors like this? Look how stunning this is. It's actually beautiful. £85. Oh my god, I, I literally have not got a full length mirror, I'm so tempted. And also that one is so beautiful. Oh my god. Like I can then finally show you my outfits of the day in a full length mirror. And look how big it is. Oh my god, I love it. Wow. That's the question. Gosh, look how small and cute this little candle is. Oh my goodness, it's a little baby candle compared to like, I think, I think the 50p, oh my gosh, the 50p bargain. Oh my God, I just want to get that just because it looks so cute to have a nice relaxing bath. Get a few of them, cute. Um, oh, look at the mini plant. Um, uh, mint Morocco. Twelve pounds? Surely not. Twelve pounds? That seems a lot of money. Twelve pounds for IKEA for a little candle. So we got that. We got basil. Oh, no. Yeah, parsley. No thanks. Not into that. Um, this one. She's nice. She smells like an expensive perfume. I did want to get a nice lemongrass citrusy vibe, but it's clearly not going down for me. Um, oh, always want to buy a plant. Of course she does. Oh, of 
quick moment then I thought yeah why not treat yourself but <sighs> oh oh Josh I feel like this is a sign three plants in the middle of the walkway smell it it doesn't it smell like someone's perfume my mother oh my god it does smell like your mum that's probably why I like it I, I'm just very overwhelmed I love it all I just do love it all actually so I got my little Ikea bag I feel like a proper Ikea -ah. um, once I've got my bag now now it's all about looking for food so they just look delish um not not sure about them i'm not gonna lie oh my gosh i just want <gasps> those are those biscuits they teased me with um oh my gosh i need these these look like ikea's versions of of, of bmbms so i will be purchasing these are these um Sour foam candy apple flavour? No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Have you found the sweet tile? No problem. <gasps> Yay! Oh, my gosh. These are the sweets I used to have every time I was a kid and I used to come to Ikea with my parents. These were the sweets I used to have. I need to buy these. It's been a long time. They are the best. I'm getting them. I'm gonna get three packs, why not? Let's do it. Hello, happy Sunday. It's Sunday the 3rd of April. Um, I just felt like I was gonna do my skincare routine and talk about London because I completely forgot to vlog. It was such a crazy time in London. I just, like, it, like, like, I literally did not even have time to think about a blister on my little toe it was severely busy but um like i get those compliments about my skin and as you know like i have eczema i'm wearing fake tan now and like my tan is looking good so i use the clinic take the day away on my face to take off my makeup i don't use face wipes face wipes cause a lot of problems with my eczema um and they were starting to literally to, to they were starting to sting my skin um, and I would, yeah, just come out in all sorts. I mean, I got a few spots for that because it's that time of the month. So yeah, I use this and it literally, you just whoop, put it on your face and it melts. It just melts all of your makeup away. It's truly genius. Um, so now, because um, I've just woken up, and I want glowing skin. I'm not going to wear any makeup today. It's a Sunday. I refuse. So I'm going to use the Mallow's Beauty um, Brightening Pineapple Enzyme Peel Up Mask. And to make you glow inside and out. And I'm not even joking. She, she's incredible. And she's also Welsh. And she also messaged me. She wants to meet up for a cheeky little coffee. I was like, absolutely. So hopefully soon I'll be able to meet up with her and have a little chin wag and bring you guys with me because she is like so incredible. Like she's so lovely, incredible, and I'm just obsessed. Um, she's also sent me quite a few, quite a few body scrubs, which I'm excited to use on my tan because my tan needs to come off so i'm excited to use the scrub on my tan and to see if my eczema like is like ah you irritated me and then we'll uh, and then i'll be in a rash so because so i'm excited to see if that will happen or not but i'm going to use this this morning i just find when i use this oh my god it's it's the best i swear so it looks like this inside um, to look at it, you wouldn't think anything, but I literally just, in the morning, if I want glowing skin, chuck it on my face like a little cream, and then I leave it like five to ten minutes, um, and then I just wash it off with a hot, hot, hot flannel, 
you know what I mean, hot water, hot flannel, and my skin just looks delicious, juicy, ready for a day of no makeup, like, I just don't think I could walk out the house with dry, dull looking skin, I don't know, if I'm gonna go out with no makeup on, you know, I wanna, whew. Also, I flipping love the peachy one as well, the peachy jelly mask, and she, and she does this like watermelon body butter. Put, oh my god, watermelon body butter! I smell like paradise. So yeah, look, you like literally cannot see, but can you see like a little bit of a glow? So yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about London and what happened what went on because it was crazy and i met so many amazing people so obviously on thursday i caught the train i went up um i didn't realize that our well i lie i did realize our ho hotel that my agency book was in covent garden um and i like remember jamie genevieve talking about her pop-up shop and it was Covent Garden, and I thought, oh my god, that was ages ago. Like she's not there. Like she's not there now. Like I swear, I swear that was like last week. I clearly didn't pay any attention to to to, to, to a like Vive pop up, a Vive pop up shop <laughs> dates. So I'm there now, and I literally realised the Vive pop up shop like. Is literally like a minute walk from my hotel so I walk past and I have my suitcase and like my bag and everything and my massive coat and I see it and I tell my girls I'm like, girls the Vive pop-up shop is here what and they're like oh my god you have to you have to and in my head I'm like I have just come to London on my own I'm anxious as it is um, I mean, to walk into there on my own just gives me another level of anxiety. But you know what? I thought, if you don't do these things in life, anxiety is going to control the rest of your life and your decisions for you. So I went to the hotel. It wasn't quite check-in. So I went to the desk. I was like, excuse me, is it okay if I drop my, if I drop my suitcase here, is that okay? She's like, yeah, that's fine, cool. She also that follows us for the way on TikTok, <laughs> the beautiful soul behind the reception desk. I was like, mm. um, so I did that. Then I was like, right, I'm gonna do it. I literally don't care if she is there, if she isn't there, I wanna get a jumper. Cause I'm obsessed with those jumpers there. Mwah, bon appetit. So off I go. And I walk in and there's like a vibe, like, like, I don't, I, I can't even explain it. Like the minute I walked in, I didn't feel uncomfortable. Like, you know, when you go to a makeup counter and you feel a bit uncomfortable, everyone's like, no, it was like so welcoming. There was a few like, girls there and they were like, oh my God, it's you, I follow you on TikTok. And I was like, no, stop it, like, what? And then I went downstairs cause like the shop had like two levels. So I went downstairs and then they had the jumpers there and I was like, mm, I want one of them jumpers. And then I was talking to a few of the girls. They were so lovely, they made me feel so welcome. Like it was the best experience of my life. Um, and then I asked, is she here? And they said, like, she's just gone out to grab a coffee. And I was like, checking, <laughs> I was checking my watch. Like, I have half an hour until check-in. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna have a chin wag, I'm gonna wait. And I'll see if she comes. So I'm just, you know, living my best life, looking at everything. I wanted so much stuff, but I already have her, like, I, I already have all of the lipsticks, all of the lip liners, all of the makeup bags. So I just wanted to get the hoodie. And then I think I'm gonna treat myself to her, her eyeshadow palette as part of my, as part of, a part, a, a part, a, a part, a part, of, a, a part of like my wedding maker. So, I'm just there browsing and she walks in. 
and I, I, I literally kid you not, I stood there like, and she just like, and I think that she turned around, like I really can't remember, I was in like shock, like, I mean, I have loved this woman for like the last eight years, like, for, I mean, to follow someone's journey for that time and be completely obsessed with the person that she is and everything that she stands for her style like oh. and she's taught me everything i know about makeup i wouldn't be here because i was horrendous at makeup but i watched all of her tutorials like i learned so much from her so when she turned around like this emotion came over me and i just started to feel so happy and overwhelmed like i started to cry but at the same time to not cry, like I can't even explain it. But she came over to me and she had a bag and she was she, and she was holding her coffee. So I'm there like, oh my god. <laughs> and then she like turns around blessed to put her coffee and to take her little bag off. And like it just shows I I don't know, like it was like the small things which just like showed me how genuine that she is as a person and then i told her i have a st a st 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 dama and like you know like she never questioned it like she never asked about it which which in that situation helped me so much because i was so scared if she's gonna ask me about it because i would have stuttered for about a good 56 minutes and I just would have been like, I want to go now. This is really right. Like, but no, like she never asked me a question. Instead, she decided to hold my hands as I was there. Like, oh, she like held my hands, and like she was so interested in every word I'll say it. And I was just like, oh, do you know what? You can just tell that she's so genuine, and it's not a front. Um, amazing. And then after that, um, and then we like spoke for a good like 10, 15 minutes. And what I loved about her is there was so much happening. There was customers coming in, going out. But for like a good 10, 15 minutes, she listened to every word I had to say. And she didn't go, oh, 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 hang on two seconds. Let me just, oh, hang on, let me do this. Like she literally stood there and she listened to me like she literally just gave me her time of day which I really respect because it's like you know it's her dream to have this shop like and she had so many like customers coming in, followers coming in, like the makeup artists but like she literally gave me her time and I really respect that um, and we literally spoke so much and I showed her a makeup look which I did like years ago and I was like oh you go. and and this is my and and this is my Instagram back in the day and I and I and I used to do makeup inspired by you and I showed it she went velvet and glitter velvet and glitter I flip it like no I flip it like no over this account is because I flip it I flip it I love the way that she does her photos and I went Velvet and Glitter is me. I used to be Velvet and Glitter back in the day. Um, so yeah, like to think that she like remembers a makeup account I did years ago. And then I just like stopped it. Because I would like spend four, six hours on a makeup look. And I would post a photo and... It was hard, like the makeup game back then, I kind of feel like every, every single Jim, Tom, Harry, Winston was kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, I just kind of like stopped that, because even though I loved, 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 loved doing makeup, it was just taking so much time of my life. But I'm glad I did it because now I have this like portfolio of like work I did three, like four years ago, which still looks amazing to this day. Like it is the best work I've ever done in my life. And I just kind of feel like my Instagram for that is, is my portfolio now. If I ever decide to get into makeup again. But yeah, back to Jamie Genevieve, whilst my mask, look at my skin, the mask is just sinking in and you can already see the beautiful glow. 
back to Jamie Genevieve. So she remembered that. I told her I've been like following it ever since the flat. Um, and then we had some photos together. I took so many photos, so many videos, and like she just gave me all the time in the world. And then afterwards, like she said, is there anything I could help you with today? And I was like, I've got myself a jumper. But like, even to say, even to say, even to say like that after speaking to her, is there anything can anything I can help you with today? Like I don't know, it just truly showed me what type of person that she truly is. Amazing, amazing, dream come true, tick off the bucket list. So after I got my jumper and I bought the tote bag as well, and I've been obsessed ever since I bought it. I think I've worn it two days in a row now. I really need to put in the wash, but I can't part with it. Um, I wish I bought three jumpers, but hey. Um, I went back to the hotel, I got ready. I literally had like an hour to get ready and chuck all like diamantes in my hair, full face of makeup. I went really heavy on my makeup. Part of me regrets it. A part of me was like, it's gonna be a party, like a party, 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 like nightclub vibe. So I did like a nice heavy contour, like, and now I look back and I'm like, oh, Jess. But hey, we live and we learn and for my next event i'll try and be more subtle okay um so we went to the tiktok hq amazing massive and real can't believe i've been there um and it was just a good energy like i think what i love about the tiktok is everyone is just a complete a complete normal person and they are like your next door neighbour and they are like your friend from down the road do you know what I mean everyone is so genuine everyone's so grateful um it was a really good vibe everyone 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 was speaking to someone and getting to know and yeah it was just a room full of incredible women and I'm so grateful I had an invitation to go there because it was the best and like yeah, I just love all of the creators on like, TikTok. Everyone's generally like, no one's like, <laughs> no, no, the best energy was in that room. Then, in that event, it also had a free bar. And I'm not being funny. We had a few cheeky possessors. It was the best. Then we went to Mr. Foggs, I think it's called, Mr. Foggs. And I met morag from from married at first sight and she was so lovely so welcoming so lush and oh my god how rude of me um whilst i was at the tiktok event i finally met vickaboo so i have just been generally chatting to vickaboo like she follows me i follow her i think she's incredible as such a queen and like at this event we finally met and like we got to know each other and we literally realized how much we have in common and we and we both have elephant tattoos like and we both i don't know that we just like bounced off each other it was like good energy so i spent the evening with spend the evening but spend the evening like with a like, vickaboo and also that like, morag and also 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 like sam who's from the agency and oh my god we just went to different places it was like half two in the morning i'm there eating a chinese in a casino whilst drinking a cocktail like it was mind-blowing but it was an amazing experience then i got home i put on the news <laughs> i fell asleep to bbc news i w literally just woke up then with the sun on my face but it was so warm i think the sun woke me up because it was just like oh and i was like ah so i woke up i got dressed i was hungover and i caught the train home the train home was a stag party. It was this man, bless him, dressed up as a cheerleader. Every time the train stopped, you had to do a lap. And I thought, mate, mate, you're going to miss the train. What are you going to do stranded as a cheerleader? But no, he was fine. And he made it to Cardiff Central. But anyway, I hope we've caught up with London. I'm just going to work up quickly. Wipe this off. My skin looks flipping. 
I mean, I have no filter on right now. I have no filter on right now, as as if I'm on Instagram or something. But no, this is like a raw camera. Look, 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 look. I don't even want to take it off, but you have to. And then I'm going to pat this all over my skin and put on my Clinique Dra Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion. So I'm going to use these afterwards. And that's it. Like, I tried to keep my skincare very minimal. Sorry about this 20-minute chin wag. I don't think I've ever talked for 20 minutes straight. No, I haven't, but... I just wanted to keep you updated because I, I didn't do any filming and I thought I'd just start to tell you what happened. So yeah, London was really eventful and that is this week's vlog. See you next week. Um, oh my gosh, next week the bridesmaids are trying on their bridesmaids dresses. I think I'm going for my new, I'm, I'm going for like my new florist consultation and Josh is having his suits sorted next saturday and i can't believe the wedding is in 12 weeks time i need to go to the gym otherwise my wedding dress won't fit me so i just need to go to the gym and concentrate on that and yeah it's time to try to finish planning this wedding with 12 weeks to go and i have so much to do which i've just gone nice nah, it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's not fine it's not fine because i got so much to do but yeah happy sunday see you next week hopefully she's done quite a bit of wedding planning if not it'll be 11 weeks to go and we'll still be in the same boat so yeah cheerio have a nice evening thank you for being here hoil vow good day